we go. We are jumping into back into the tournament times. Uh, up we have Terrafinon versus Ents. Going to jump into the live stream straight away. Well, replay stream. We are a bit behind on this. They started about 10 to 15 minutes ago, so. But we shall see what we have got. Game loads are uh, up top here. In the lovely purple, we have Ants going Cybran. Right, starting out first land. And he's going to keep us guessing about what he's going to do next. Move back down to the bottom corner. We have Terrafinum, also Cybran, so we've got a Cybran matchup. Both starting out first land. And here we go, scheduled to send an engineer straight over to the Hydro. Bit of a walk, probably want to get a Pigeon or two before that gets up, else they could be running out of power. Ants is going similar straight to four mixes, building engineers, maybe going to power. Have to wait and see. No, he's also scheduled to go over for Hydro. So, first engineer going straight over for the Hydro. Do suspect he is going to run out of power though. He's only gone for two mechs. And he's assisted that second engineer, which may help get that Hydro up before he runs out of power. And Ants, on the other hand, is building the Pigeons. This will assist with a little bit of power, just because of the time it takes to get over to the Hydro. It's a little bit far away. Teo, on the other hand, I think he's going to run out. Hydrocarbon by standard needs 800 power to build. You can see he is fast running out of that power. He's only got plus 20 income. So now he's going to hold off on that while the engine is built. Hydro, but it should be okay. Indeed, he's paused the factory, so all build power is going into the Hydro at the moment. So that he will be fine. On the flip side, Ents has PGNs up and is still building more. Once this one is done, he will be fine in power. Each one goes plus 20. We have balanced ego we'd like to see. Almost done. There we have it. So, we have Teo already on the move with his comm. And it's just starting out. Different plans here. You see, Ants is planning to come down and go this way. This is the exact same direction that Teo is going, so we could see a little bit of early comp skirmish if they continue in these directions. Okay, so a little bit of a skirmish. Mages over here looking for that uh, tr probably trying to sneak around the end wants to try and pick off an engineer who may stray too far out without assistance. And as yet, no combat unit out of four ants. So he is stuck on halfway through an air factory. Teo is going up a lot faster. He's got one, two, three engineers building on that. Probably going to finish around about the same time. A couple more mages just coming out to bolster. Still have a scout coming out for and since we'll let him know what is going on. Nothing's getting rid from Teo's factory. coming over he's going to pick up that if he's paying attention he will see the comm standing here building a factory this may alter his plans of what he wants to do with his commander although not yet this guy's going to keep flying over he's got to know his commander is there by this point okay finally getting some 
units out we have a engineer this being covered by a hunter but this is going to go poorly against the mantis these two are not going to survive no micro and one house down and one engineer down watch the scout you may see this no that's another hunter probably not going to be redirected up here See Ants now trying to start raids with labs, but Teo is using Mentis, so this is going to go poorly for any little labs that go out. Lots of VS guts up here. So Ants is looking for that intel, trying to find what to go, and we have some airdrop engineers to grab the mix and reclaim on top of these plateaus. Only way to get there. So there's one engineer there, and this one is likely not going anywhere. damage on the commander basically shrugs it off it's only a few mantis a big dead lab down here there's still nothing doing with this engineer or transport a couple of tears out for a tarry but they're not in use at the moment it's still only scout it's got his own scout and will be aware did not actually even scout over the base interesting Their factory now pushing up Mantis, Commander standing still. Could probably afford to wander off and grab that mix. Tower with a bit of radar would be well aware of this there. Has he scouted it? Yes, he has, so he knows the Commander's there, he knows a factory is there. So no Commander standing still over there. Seeing the factory pushing out the engineers, we have four mixes upgrading at the same time one pause by being assisted this is going to be a hell of a mess sink. I would not be surprised to see well in the negative minus 28 need to pause those there that's not a good use of eco on the flip side Ants has not even started any T2 upgrades so he's running off straight T1 mix however he has got more Expanded much further. He's got these up around his base. He's dropped up here with his transport. He's dropped there. He's picked up these two. He's got another engineer heading up here to grab these. As far as income goes, you can see Ants is just a head on two more. The extra mix he has, however, once these get done, tell you will jump ahead by a massive amount. Indeed, the engineer completes a mix there, and now it's all even. A little bit quiet for the moment, both homers just standing off. Terror is where the comms over here does not quite want to push with this group yet. Probably we're throwing some reduces in the mix of that. Reduces, of course, while they're inaccurate, they do have the stun, which is incredibly handy when facing large groups of units. It's actually a fairly solid fair number of factories here, just looking to build a slight little base, get some build power, get some frontline units going out straight away. Engineer being flown over. Where's that going? It's going right there. Likely to build something like a radar, which the commander is not capable of. So these have now all been paused halfway done. This is approximately 40% done, but being assisted slowly up. Small raid here, if they keep going they could catch an engineer trying to build a hydro, an infinite of hydro itself. Got a single mantis over here just doing nothing. T2 upgrade coming on for ants. Very heavily mastered. It's going to take some time. Not anymore. Terror grabbing stealth on his gone. Could be very interesting not being able to be seen there. 
at the moment a load of aesthetic. Nobody's quite willing to make the first move. This will be helpful to ants. Still without any T2 mixed in his base, so he has got one upgraded back there. But he's ahead on Eco under the longer tail weights. Close that T2 upgrade gets done. Probably expect to see a Cerberus Turrets creep start. Not a good place to land your detective. This little group is now heading up here. I'm going to catch that engineer out and have all the time in the world to take care of the mix and Hydro. is now up to 33 income. Picked up all these mixes here. But he's going to drop off, drop a couple off from that one. Peter Teo has only just got his engineer up here to grab these back mixes. He has stopped assisting or upgrading any of these. Curious decision. He has got overcharge on his commander. In fact he's going for gun right there. Maybe planning to come around. This is a pretty good idea. I've got a drop coming in from Ants to try and rescue this. Maybe it may be a little too late. The mix is going to go down and the deep engineer should be picked up by this Mantis. Whether that little raid party will be dead when they have done their job, deny the eco, and there's no region left to rebuild at the moment. So here is that, we've got radar up for both parties, let's just see what they can see. So Teo has scouted, he should be aware that this is now T2 air from Ants. However he's lost intel on that because of the power stall he's currently having. A lot of reclaim going on here, trying to counter that, but he needs more power. Trying to run air factory, another air factory on 6 gens and one hydro definitely needs a lot more power comparatively ants has 1.1k it's going to be reclaim there we go income twice as much power income which why he's able to have the t2 air running and in fact is getting a t2 pigeon in his base as well so corsairs are starting to build you probably want to finish out off first before trying to spam corsairs there's no direct need for them this very instant but that is going to be a game changer once up. Teo, very lack. That has got to be due to power stall, that lack of income. Indeed it is. That is a little mix. You should have more income than that, however, because of the power stall, they are not producing as much mass. You can see there it keeps on dropping. But now that his par parachute is suddenly sorted and his income jumps back up. Ants, however, is way ahead in the, in the eco stays. 41 income now. So he's got 2 T2 mix, a bunch of T1. Is that reclaim related? Indeed, not much in the way of reclaim. Now, this is a large force coming around the side. Terry needs to be a little careful. Well, he does have an upgraded comm with stealth and gun. That's still a sizable force. And indeed, here we go, the Cerberus turrets are coming out, and this is going to pick off units as they go down this way to try and reinforce. Although, without intel, those units may not be able to see Teo's comp. Until it's too late. Now they do, they get one the range. Stealth is only helping against radar. That is a lot of units, that is more than enough to kill a commander. So he needs to get moving, he needs to get these units over to help back him up. This will overrun. So right now it is looking very much in favour of Vance, he has more ego. He has more map control. He has T2 on the field while Teo still only has T1. He still has an upgraded mixer, so he has fallen well behind in eco status. This is not good for Teo. Not looking good. 
a lot of spam coming out of these factories. Just going to bump the speed up because we are behind in the games. So I'm just going to pop it to plus two just so we can catch up to the tournaments because there will be another game coming on shortly and I want to grab that one a bit more live. So here comes the push up from Ants. He's going to wander up here. That's not going to last. Maybe this makes it all the way down. Commander's wandering. I don't expect to see a C2 PD creep start over the top of the hill. There it is. First Cerberus turret. It's going to start burning that. That's going to start tickling these units over here. In the meantime, Teo down here. Still behind on power, 600 to 1k. And behind on mass. The T2 power in here, and we have Corsairs coming up. Got a hive being built, likely that's going to go straight to assisting the factory. A couple of engineers at Nidal, they could be doing something. Could be doing a reclaim of all this. Well, it's not a lot of masses, it would be energy. Yeah, this is not going to go off tail. This is going to get by the super size, which go up very quickly. It is a plus two speed though, remember. So this is a solid hold here for Vance. It is not a lot of map control, and still we don't have these mixes upgraded. Up here is built some storage out of the way just so if that one dies, it'll be a little bit harder to deny. The T2 radar is going to give Ants a lot of vision now. See a lot further, which is very useful. Still only the T2 air factory, which is still producing course here, so up to four of those now. Still no T2 on the field or Tao anywhere. Rather large push here. Could be dangerous for the they can keep on pushing through. Got some backup coming. We'll go even if your things ain't shooting the hill. The hill is not impressed. That was an expensive loss. T2 mix back there. In fact, yep, one T2 mix back here. That got a lot of tails and come. Not sure why he upgraded that one instead of the ones in his base, which he has completed one of. Needs to complete more. Small roving band through the middle. If it goes this way, it is not going to get much done as we have two very large number of mantis just to counter it. We're not going to get far done at all. Come down here, get involved in taking out a small band. A little bit of support, and should be fine. This over runs into all of this. He needs to get these units down here desperately to help out the commander. If we get surrounded, he will be done for. There's more than enough units to kill, even though I've got Back up on the hill, we can see the problem with the Cerberus turrets and their direct fire when it comes to hilly terrain. I'm sure the ground is feeling very painful. Teo does get his combat, and squeeze out through the units, which hold a line. Set me behind just pick it up and this is like through. Overcharge the ground wind, but that is still there, like units. Still in trouble. Quite a bit of region on that commander, as you even though this is a plus two, they are barely taking them down. Three rank bit and more incoming. Units in the base is never a good thing. Watch the blue power die, watch the fences die, watch the power die. Bombs out to try and assist, but here come the Corsairs onto Teo. Where is his air? There we go. Intercept is going the wrong way. There, another run from the Corsairs. Down the three, gets around the middle, so he comes back up. There's a lot of region, but those Corsairs will take him down. You can see there, edge pass, 1000 damage, down to under 1000. 500, 400, that's GG, says Teo. Bit late on the T2 land, unfortunately. 
So here we have it. Fairly solid play from Ants. Pushed his commander up, held an area. Got a grace in there and set the staging area. Had more eco, had more map control. And in the end, just too much for Tao to handle. Ants progresses through. Absolutely, and the Cerberus turrets are bad, but uh, Seraphim turrets are worse. Okay, looking at is the next match ready to go? Just trying to find out who it is involved. So if you remember, Ginga took down the Ender Lord in the first round via Monkey Lord to the face. Uh, Twyblade took out Devilish in a long battle. Could have gone either way at any point, but eventually the Corsairs got the job done after throwing his base, and we may have a default match. Fergus versus James. James may not be able to play, so Fergus could go through by default. They murders. It's actually ants. Oh, it's ants. Ants. What? Yeah, I'm using his computer. <laughs> Sorry, I see the name murders. I think murders, but okay, ants it is. Yep. <laughs> I, I I did wonder because um I'm not sure if murders knows how to play one v one without mods. You no, know, he's not very good at that. <laughs> so if if he can't build up a lot of mods and build power and then just have unlimited eco and spam stuff, I don't think he knows what to do. Yeah, exactly. That is going. Um, okay, so sorry, Teo. Uh, good, good, good. And that's the James. Oh, great. James and the blade. Oop, James dropped down. Uh, we don't have a Fergus for James to play against, but he dropped That's out the channel. Yeah. I've just messaged him. Uh, Fergus? Yeah. Okay. Stars, stars, everybody! Shh! <laughs> <laughs> very, noisy, very noisy background. Yeah. <laughs> noisy background. Um, cool, so... Alright, so James is around... Okay. I'm just gonna hop out... Actually, hold on. No, that's right. I'll hang. So I was going to look for the game between uh, Boomy and Deadeye. Apparently, they have played one game. Deadeye has won the first one. Check if they're going at the moment. Might jump into that. Uh, no, they're not in the game. Now I will go to have a chat with them. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Deadeye. Right, uh, you guys played one game so far? Yes. One game thus there far. Where are our second? Can be the very last game of the second game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, uh, not exactly on the top of the, uh, top of the, uh, board at the moment. Maybe I am, I don't know. 
so that's, that's all right hey you know everybody everybody was new to the game um you could learn somehow and you don't mean by not playing that's it exactly okay do okay. do you guys why is this mountain so fucking steep ah are you guys in a game yes we are yeah, currently think... interesting chat showing you not oh interesting da -da. I have a T2. Yeah. Yeah, where you can stick your T2. Up my ass. Damn right you can. Love the smack dog, fellas. <laughs> run away. You better run, bitch. Come for that ass. I've been playing for some reason their game is not showing up on here I'll check the live replays see if we have da, da, da. two players cup fleet that's not a proper map game I think they're just playing their own at the moment. It's not TVG, although that does look like one of the maps. Very well. We are looking at trying to suit up. King out versus Ents. And Darkinger is in a game. I think look of it. Reclaim. What a weird, weird map. So, this is actually forest or something, the way it rocks, perhaps. Whatever it is, you can reclaim your way. So the game's barely started. Unfortunately. It is a weird game. Very weird game. from Fergus, unfortunately he is away.
Alrighty, no game, no stream. Watch for it coming up later once we have things confirmed.